Well, my name is uh, Roseanne Kenny. Um, I'm Professor of Clinical Geriatric Medicine and Head of the Clinical Aging Research Program in Trinity College. In Trinity, we're very well placed to actually take an international lead on aging research. We have strengths in the health domain, probably one of the strongest departments of clinical gerontology in Europe. We have very great strengths in the social policy domain and in the economic domain. We are working closely with industrial partners to develop new technologies which will improve and enable independent living in the home. And this is a huge uh, research program, particularly with Intel and with other industrial um, partners. Aging research is uh, very important in the context of biomedical research. Uh, what, what actually constitute the aging process probably shares common, common cellular fundamental mechanisms with other major processes like cancer disease, uh, neurodegenerative diseases such as dementia. So two, two very major challenges for health and for biomedical sciences. Uh, not only that, but ageing research actually transcends all of the major components of biomedical sciences. It's, it's, it's such a broad area that it's pertinent to virtually every single one of the uh, foci of biomedical science. And take a few examples. Immunology, for example. Infections are much more common as people get older. Conversely, it may well be that uh, changes in the immune system are critical and fundamental to the aging process and may well inform us about why we age. Cancer becomes much more common as people get older. Um, conversely, it may well be that understanding cancer will actually um, inform the aging process and, and vice versa, understanding more about the aging process at a cellular level may and has been informing the cancer field. We will be experiencing over the next number of decades a huge demographic change, and a, a change such that society as we know it today will never be the same again. The number of older people will increase dramatically, and will increase dramatically in comparison with younger persons. So our whole structure, our whole societal structure will change. And the requirements for society will change hugely. Uh, the requirements for health care delivery, for social care delivery, the economics to deal with additional burdens of health and social care. All of these are, are new, immense challenges that we need to plan for before they are even more dramatically upon us, unplanned. Um, to give you some sense of that, at the moment there are four retired persons for every 10 working people. In 15 to 20 years time, there will be seven retired persons for every 10 working people, so approximately a doubling. And the biggest increase will be in the oldest old. That's people over the age of 80. They'll increase by 80% over the next 15 years. So although the extended lifespan, which is what this represents, is to be celebrated, it's wonderful that we, we know our, our lifespan is being extended approximately by two years um, every 20 years in terms of cohorts. It's important that we somehow focus research and development so that we ensure a healthy and happy extended lifespan and not an extended lifespan which is marked by disability or financial insecurity or indeed poverty.